Welcome to Mr. Woods' Wonderful World of Art. I'm Mr. Woods, and I'm so excited to bring you the third show of a seven-show series dealing with the elements of design. Today, we're going to be talking about form. We're going to be creating origami. So the materials you'll need is some type of just square piece of paper, preferably something thin, lightweight, like copier or printer paper. So now, let's begin. Form is a three-dimensional object which could be small enough to be held in your hand or large enough such as a sculpture to walk around or a stuffed animal that you can hug. Welcome back friends. I'm going to show you an easy way to create an origami butterfly. What you first need is a piece of paper. This is a printer, piece of printer or copier paper and it's a very thin gauge and that's going to make it easier to fold. All I need to do is cut it down where I have a square. So if it's eight and a half, I can just measure over eight and a half and cut it and have myself a square. But uh, what I'm going to use is it's a pre-cut square made for origami. It's uh, got color on one side and white on the other side and it's going to make it really easy to um, get this project started. So first thing we need to do is make just a fold from the left side over the right side like this. And we like to roll it, hold it, and then fold in the middle, up and down, and give it a little crease. Zoop. After you have it creased, open it back up. Yep. We're going to turn it just counterclockwise, just like so. Do the same thing. Left to right, roll, hold, fold, and then crease it. You want to do it where it's flat on the table. It makes it easier. Um, also, it, you know, it'll prevent you from tearing your paper. Now, this next part, we're going to turn our paper over, rotate it so it's in the shape of a diamond, and do exactly the same thing as we've done before. We're going to go from the left to the right, and again, roll, hold, fold, and then crease her down. Open it back up, rotate, got it. And last time, roll it, hold it, and fold it. And let's get it creased down using a fingernail. Zip. Now you can see the folds on one side, folds on the other side, and you can see it, it just wants to fold itself for you. It's almost creating the butterfly all by itself. Just kind of pyramid this up, and then the edges here, the, the sides fold into each other to make a triangle. So you have to have two pieces on the left, two pieces on the right, or left, right, I showed you backwards. Rotate that so it's pointing directly at you, the triangle. Take one section on the left, down, fold it, and you want it to be about, see with my pointy little finger there, about a finger's width from the bottom. Crease that down, do the same on the right side. Crease it down, should be a mirror image or symmetrical. The last fold is actually going to be more of a of rolling it and then folding it. So this is going to be the head. It's going to fold over and have a little triangle here. So you're going to roll it. If you can see that I'm rolling instead of folding, it's going to roll and it's going to come up and over at the very top. So get my fingers in there. I roll it because that's going to give the, the more of, of a form to the body. Folder here. Hold it down so I can get that creased better. There's my butterfly, and then if I fold right on the on the middle part, almost like you're folding up a paper airplane, and just kind of crease that down a little bit, and it'll hold the body. And then, bam, right there, woo! You've got your butterfly. There's a first one, hopefully, of many. 
As you can see, I've got a couple here. And then after you have, you know, five, six, ten, a hundred, a thousand, you can combine them, make different things. You can make a wreath. You can use them for decorations, hang them from your ceiling. I don't know. Just be original, be creative, and most importantly, have fun. Hey, thanks for joining me. Remember, origami is the Japanese art of paper folding. And form is a three-dimensional object that encloses a volume. So if you like what you see, hit that like button. Also, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And remember, if anyone can do it, it's you.